Well, good afternoon. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but we do know that this fire burned very, very fast. This morning, a West Town warehouse is still smoldering more than 12 hours after the fire that destroyed it was first reported. Firefighters even returning to the commercial pallet building today to make sure the fire didn't reignite. And we were like, this is crazy. Just before six yesterday evening, smoke billowed high in the air. It could be seen in the suburbs and flames were massive. Metro trains, which run directly behind the warehouse at Hubbard and Damon, even suspended traffic for a short time. Sage Rosenberg was at a friend's house nearby when the fire started. We could feel like the the water from the firehouses and like feel like the black smoke in our nose. We're like, we need to move farther away. Firefighters say the fire appears to have started in the back of the warehouse and it had plenty of fuel to burn. Talk to the owners. They have 20,000 pallets on site right now that they rebuilt. We had a strong wind today, so it, it had a good head start on us. It took a couple of hours, close to 300 firefighters and plenty of equipment to finally knock the fire out. Your pallets are stacked, you know, and it was very neatly stacked, but remember that air can get through every one of those pallets. You stack pallets 30 feet high and you get that fire, however it caught itself on fire, I'm not sure. And the wind to the outside, yeah, it goes off of quick. The business and its 18 employees were already gone when the fire started. Two firefighters suffered minor injuries, but should be okay. The building, however, is a total loss. It's intense. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Now, this business has been here since 1978. And again, right now, we do not know the cause of the fire. We're live in Westtown. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. All right, Eric, thank you. Well,